deja vu today as we're back in FA Cup action, this time up against Hungerford Town. Can we get a win that will put us in the first round proper of the FA Cup at the first time of asking in today's episode of Back to the Bowling? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes FM, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, like I said in the intro, we are back in FA Cup action once again. I know this is the second episode in a row that we have done the FA Cup, but I think the last game and this game were both really interesting games. And down at this level, it is the Cup games that are really important just for the finances. We are going to have a look at the finances in just a minute. And so yeah, today we're at home against Hungerford Town. We have only played two games since you were last with me. And if we just have a look at them results, we beat, oh sorry, we drew against Haven and Waterlooville 1-1. Decent is performance we had there. Chris Dixon with a nice early goal in the 20th minute for us. He's looking a very decent player. And yeah, he did okay. But other than that, nobody really stepped up. If you look at the ratings over here, Yemi Odubadi, he did, and Chris Dixon. But other than that, everyone else was very, very average. So I suppose a 1-1 draw was kind of the right result. So we couldn't argue too much about that. But then in the last game against Brackley, we was terrible. I don't think we had a single shot on target in this game and it was at home which makes that even more disappointing and so yeah that was very very awful a Ronan Coughlin I think that's how you pronounce it with both the goals in the 15th and the 28th minute and our highest rated player Elliot Watt on 7.5 then other than that Will Hendon on a 7.0 both sort of defensive minded players so you can tell we was under the cost for most of that game so that's very disappointing there. Let's go and have a very, very quick look at the finances just before we crack on with the game. As you can see, our overall balance now is 1,416,000. So that's looking very, very healthy considering we started on what, just about a million when the game started. So that's not bad for how we're doing. And if we have a look at the projection, we should be sort of around about the same level at the end of the year. So that's looking very, very good. Hopefully a decent little cup run. And you never know, might just break the old £2 million barrier. But that all rests on what's going to happen today. And what's going to happen today is all down to what happens against Hungerford Town. I'll talk, I'll talk you through the team in just a second. And let's just go have a look. Uh, what the bookies are saying, they're saying that we're the favourites for this game. Hungerford, like I said in the last game, they are lower than us in the league table. So hopefully we can get a win. We're six to four for the win. Hungerford are thirteen to eight. Both teams are inconsistent, and let's just hope we can get something out of this game. And like I say, I'm going to talk you through the subs and the team in just a second and yeah you might have noticed i've got a brand new skin and this is why i really really like this screen it's called the nocturno skin i'm gonna put a link to it down below in the description so yeah it's a very very cool skin i like it a lot if you haven't got it yet go and check it out i think it's very beautiful and yeah i love how it comes with the old match of the day graphics so yeah let's go crack on with the game We've got Howe in goal, Connolly on the left, Lander and Mambo in the middle, Hendon out wide on the right, Saunders and Watt in the middle of the park, Cotton, Curtis, Odderbaddy just behind the main man, Chris Dixon. And they are going for a slightly defensive, I think you can say, 5-3-2. So let's hope we can take the game to them and we can get something out of this. As Just as far as the team talk goes, I'm going to go, we owe Hungerford after what happened in the last game. Yeah, let's go for that one. And I've just got a few of them motivated. Let's go, hand it over to CJ, who's spoken to Elliot Watt, and he's got him motivated, which is all very good. Let's go end the team talk, and let's go kick off with the game. Can we get into the first round proper of the FA Cup? 
Here we go. First highlight of the game is Hungerford with the throw in. Meacham with the ball, but Odubadi eventually almost gets it back, but Hungerford do just pick it up there. Melbourne with the ball to May. To May, I think that's how you pronounce it. And he goes back to Yakubu. That one I can pronounce. Tyler. Somebody close him down, please. Goes to Sanderson, who goes long. Meacham's in the box, and he shoots, and he's hit the bar, and it's come out. <sighs> we survive for the second. Half an hour almost gone. It's Curtis with a free kick, and he scored. What a free kick that is. Curtis, who was a very, very late choice to put into the team. Only when I decided to go back to the 4 2 3 1. And he came in and wow, am I grateful that I made that decision. I'm a super manager. All the credit must go to me. Wow, what a goal that was. Well guys, that's half time. As far as the stats are going, we've had four shots to their three. Four on target to their... And yeah, 52% of the ball, 48% of possession. We've regained possession well in central areas of the pitch, but that's because we've lost it in lo loads of times in the central areas of the pitch. Yeah, so, let's go into the dressing room and let's tell the lads, you are doing some very good stuff, as we are only 45 minutes from the FA Cup proper. Uh, I'm going to go calm, I'm going to say don't get complacent. Hopefully this won't stress them out too much. Oh, a couple of them are stressed. And one of them is the goalie. Can I talk to him alone? Yes, I can. And I'm going to say to him, uh, I'm happy with your performance. Uh, what is he on? He's on 6.8. Uh, I'm going to say I'm very happy with your performance just to try and cheer him up. He's happy. I'm going to do the same for Hendon as well. Although Hendon has been poor. Uh, what I'm going to say to him, you weren't that bad, but I believe you can still improve. And he's still stressed. Okay. And let's hand it over to CJ. And brilliant. Thank you, CJ. He's stressed out Hendon and the goal scorer. What on earth has he said to Jack Curtis to make him upset? I'm very happy with your performance. Okay, you're on an 8.2. What on earth are you expecting us to say to you, mate? No idea, Curtis. But let's hope he's so angry he goes out and he smacks another couple of free kicks in, eh? Okay, lads. 20 minutes left in the game. We've had absolutely no highlights in this second half. So I've just made a couple of changes. Brought Jamie Calvin up top on for Dixon. Dixon's not really looked like doing anything today. And the same for Ira Jackson Jr. Coming on for old uh, Nick Cotton. And so let's go out there. 20 minutes left. We should have this game wrapped up, I think, because Hungerford have not really challenged us. But then having said that, here we go, they're going to whack this in the back of the net, isn't they? And the ball comes into the box, and how would a stop there? Very, very nice stop. Oh, here we go, highlights are coming thick and fast now. They're playing the ball long, but it just goes to our man, Connolly. He plays it wide, and is Jackson Jr. going to get onto this? Yes, he is. And can he play it into the box? He crosses it in. Odubadi loses out on the header there. But Hendon throws the ball in the box. Jackson Jr. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0 to the Cockney boys. 2-0 to the Cockney boys. Yes, that is the game won. Surely now. And what a good ball this was from Hendon. And Jackson Jr. just with a very, very nice volley. Putting that in the back of the net. Now just a couple of minutes left in injury time. Hungerford are coming forward. Woolwood across, but Hendon gets back brilliantly there. Saunders wins it back. Odubadi eventually receives the ball and he goes long to absolutely nobody. And I don't think we're going to have too much drama now. At least I'm hoping we're not. Yakubu to Melbourne. He goes long and Mambo picks the ball up. Again, it goes back to Melbourne. This is all just a lot of backwards and forwards. Oh, but now Alvis in behind us. He shoots and what a stop from Howe. He has been a great signing this year. Just about 50 seconds left of the game. Surely the referee's just looking forward to blowing his whistle. 
If he can just give it a blow now, that would be nice, just so we can all go home. We've won the game 2-0. We've not had any injuries. That is what I call a job very well done. And come on, referee. 15 seconds remaining. Junior now with the ball. To what? To Curtis. Why to Odubadi? And can he get past his man? No, he can't. Melbourne, who's on a yellow card, picks the ball up there. And come on, referee. And yep, he has blown his whistle. We have won 2 0. We are in the FA Cup proper. Oh my days. At the very, very first time of asking, I'm going to go talk to the team. I'm going to go passionately. I'm very happy with that result and the way you played. And they're all extremely delighted. And so I'm going to hand it over to CJ. Hopefully he won't upset anybody this time. And uh, nope, he hasn't. Thank God for that. So let's end the team talk. Leave the match there. And yeah, how long are we at? About just over 10 minutes I think we're at at the minute. So you know what? I'm going to come back for the FA Cup draw. And then uh, we'll also we'll do whatever the next game in the league is. So I'll be back with you guys for that. In just a second. Alright guys, we're back. It's FA Cup first round draw time now. And just look at some of these teams that we could get drawn against. Wigan Athletic only won the FA Cup a few years back. MK Dons, that would be very nice. Two sort of franchise sort of teams going up against each other. And so let's go into the draw. How many teams have we got? 91? I'm not drawing all of them. We're just going to do the old draw all teams button and see who we get. And press the magic button, please. As we have got, we've got a league team. Yes, that's very, very nice. We've got Exeter from League 2. All at the top of League 2. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that's going to be difficult. Bring it on. Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That is definitely going to be maybe the next episode, depending when it's scheduled for. Let's have a very quick look. Yeah, we're going to do the next league game, which is actually the day after this. So we haven't got long to wait for that. And then the next episode will be against Exeter in the FA Cup. All right, guys, we're back. It's game day. We are at home against Dartford. As you can see, they are third in the table. So they should be feeling confident. But after that result we had against Hungerford, I'm feeling a little bit confident myself. And we're going to go with exactly the same team. I'll show you it again in just a second. Same team, same formation. Everybody is fit. So yeah, this should be good. They obviously are favourites. They are evens. But apparently their, their recent form is poor, whereas ours is only inconsistent. So you never know. We could win this game. That would be very, very nice. As yep, here we are just seeing the old match of the day graphics again. I do really, really like this skin. Again, description will be down below. And yeah, just we're going 4 2 3 1 again. Exactly the same team. Nothing has changed. They are going for a 4 4 2. So I don't envisage having too many problems hopefully let's just see how we do get on i'm gonna say to the lads pick up exactly where you left off at the last game and cotton is motivated but that's about it so let's go hand it over to me assistant cj he's not got any sort of reaction out the lads but let's go crack on with the game come on can we get a win and make this a very successful episode here we go first highlight of the game 28 minutes in we're playing the ball long what now with the ball to Curtis? Gets it into the box. Cotton with a shot and it's 1-0. Nico Cotton with a very, very nice goal there. And that's two goals from similar positions for our team in the last couple of games. That's very, very nice to see. As we just have a look at this on the replay. It was what with the ball. Went to Curtis and Curtis with a great little pass. Cotton got himself to space and he got us 1-0 up. And now 32 minutes in, we're immediately following that. We're coming forward again. What with the ball. Goes out wide to Curtis with a cross. And just goes beyond Odubadi. But he does eventually collect it and just crosses it into the box. 
and just nice and easy for their keeper to collect. Oh, immediately following that, we're still on the same highlight and we've scored. Dixon with a very nice goal. I was not expecting that at all. I thought that was just going to be a bit of a nothing highlight. But it has been anything but. As now we see it, Saunders wins the ball back, goes to Lander, who just lobs it forward and Dixon beats his man. And he was never, ever going to miss that. It's 2-0 to the Cockney boys again. <laughs> wow, that's half time. We are 2-0 up. We've had five shots to their four. Three on target to their one. And yeah, they've had more of the ball, but we've done very, very well when we have had it. We've got a good shots to touch ratio, apparently, in a penalty box. And we've regained possession well in the central areas. So yeah, we are looking very, very good at the minute. I'm just going to say to the lads, uh, I'm very pleased, keep it going. Or do I say don't get complacent? I'm very pleased. Let's, um, oh, I don't know. I'm very pleased. Because I am. I can't see us throwing this game away. We have looked very, very good in that first half. Now let's go crack on with the second half and get this game won. 53 minutes gone. First highlight of the second half. And it's Dartford with it. But we win it back. And then Bradbrook for them gets it and plays it long. Pews through to Fleming. No. Shot and just wide. Thank you for that. We have survived. I think if they had scored them, we would have got a little bit nervous. But now here we are. Half an hour left. Connolly with the throw in to Curtis. To Saunders who's got a little bit of a knock. What as a shot. Takes a deflection. And now Dartford are coming at us once again. Murphy trying to get in behind our defence. He's into the box. He suits and wow. That was awful. That was proper Vanarama League South standard wasn't it? Now just making the one change. Kim Jai Hoon coming on for Saunders. Who's got a little bit of a knock. I might just take Dixon off in a minute as well. Just as we get closer to the end of the game. Just want to see sort of how he does for the next 5-10 minutes. But now Dartford are coming at us. It's Fleming to Brown. And can we get this ball away? Oh what a stop that is. How is having a fantastic couple of games. It's them now with the corner. Noble. Someone called Noble playing on this pitch once again. And a Jala with a shot, and that goes into the most emptiest stand I think I've ever seen in my life. Yep, just making that one change. Calvin coming on for Chris Dixon, and I think I'm also going to take Odebadi off. Ira Jackson Jr. can come on for him. He is looking absolutely shattered, and so we're going to leave it at that. 15 minutes remaining. Surely we're going to see this game through, as now Dartford with a throw in goes to Madeley. Back to Hooser, and he goes over the top, Murphy's in, he shoots, and how with another stop. What a keeper he is. A couple of minutes remaining in normal time. Curtis with the ball to what? To Calvin. Loses it out there, Curtis with the ball. Goes to Jackson Jr. And he goes to Cotton, no, he intercepts. Oh, oh, oh Calvin's in there. 3-0. 3-0 against the team, third in the table. Let's just have a look, see if, see if the table has updated. And yeah, I think it has. We're now up to 13th in the table as things stand. Just five points off the playoffs. Is it possible? Could we actually get there this year? That would be beautiful. And that was a very, very nice poacher's goal there from Calvin. Three minutes left of injury time. Surely we're just going to see this game through. As now our keeper Hal plays the ball long. But Davies heads it away. Goes to Hendon. And back to Mambo who goes long with it. Calvin does not win the header there. But Watt picks the ball up on the halfway line. Goes long. And just backwards and forwards now. I think everybody's a little bit tired. I think everybody is just waiting for the referee to say we can all go home. As what with the ball, back to Hendon, long over the top. Cotton with it, who squares it, and that's 4 0. Ha ha ha! Calvin with two off the bench. That is how you do a football manager episode. You win in the FA Cup, and then you go and beat a team higher up than you in the league. 
What's that? 6-0 over the two games. I think we're looking a little bit good now, lads, aren't we? Oh, my days. Ah, that's the final whistle. Very, very nice performance. 4-0 win. Going to go to the lads passionately. I'm very pleased with your result and your performance. And then just hand it over to the assistant. Only a couple of lads are looking delighted. I think they're all concentrating. And hand it over to CJ. Yep, he gets nothing out of them. But I'm very, very happy. That's two very good performances. And yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it for today, lads. If you've enjoyed that video, and how could you not? Give me a big, big thumbs up down below. Hit the old like button. And also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We are getting so, so close to the big 300 subscribers, which would just be amazing if we can get there in the next couple of days. We're only three away as it stands. So yeah, if we can get there uh, by Friday, that would be beautiful. And yeah, uh, anything else to say, follow me on Twitter at BadJokesFM. Follow the club on Twitter at East Ham underscore FC. I know I've been a little bit quiet with them. I, I forgot the password to that account because I'm a bit of a muppet. And you, but I'm back into it now. So that's going to be a lot more active now. So yeah, just follow me, follow the club, subscribe to the channel, hit the big thumbs up. And yeah, I've got one thing left to say. I am Bad Jokes FM. I'm a tactical genius.